Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the New York Giants. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. 23-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. After the penalty, it's Alia. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's going to be incomplete. Prescott. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Forced out to his left. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Now Greg Zerline. We all remember the 57-yarder that sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's we'll see how the rest of the game goes. Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. New York ready to go again offensively. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. 
And they'll run the option to start the drive. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And this will go for five up to the 33. The ball carrier. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A five-yard pickup on the play, and it's third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. And they run the option here on first and ten. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. They stopped me by Gerald McCoy. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 37-yard line. From the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's third down. And 10 yards to go. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Jones now on third down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Riley Dixon on to punt. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Ezekiel Elliott, a gain of three, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second and seven, Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. 
A first down throw for Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And now it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Out to the right here to Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Prescott from the gun, able to hit his target lamb. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Prescott yet again. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to drop him for a loss of a couple. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. On third down, it's Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. And Zerline's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Zerline back out there now to send this one away. 
That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. Operating from the gun, Jones. Dancing to his left. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it and run time, and he picks up a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Jones on first down. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. Their 48-yard line. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. And New York set to take the field. And yeah, maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. And what I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself. And you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. He's got to find a player or two, and they couldn't be very happy at that point. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Now Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Throwing Jones. It's caught, Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now Jones throwing on first down. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Jones. A gain of six there on first. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys and plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game 
where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Jones throw on target to Shepard, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one, and another first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. A first down carry for Barkley, and he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. <laughs> After the penalty, they go with Barkley. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide <laughs> off and try and chip someone at the second level. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, they wound up losing yardage. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now. For one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. Number 20, call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. That's the end of Three the quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. From the 45 on second down, Prescott on the crossing route, complete. That's Lamb, and he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. This to Jarwin. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. 
win. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Right there. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Prescott, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jack Prescott hook it up with Amari Cooper, and the Cowboys will extend their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet, or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. They have worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. New York ready to go again offensively. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes. You're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Jones on first and 10. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release and they did force the incomplete pass. From the 21, it's second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. And Tate's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Complete. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Jones now on first down. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Throwing on second and long. Jones. Incomplete. Jones pass. Incomplete on the throwaway. Ha ha Clinton Dix on the coverage.
The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Try and run for it with Elliott. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. takes the knee. Second and 11. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, you did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.